Hi, here we are on the No Shame Tour. We are here at the Western Union uh, near Main Street in beautiful Ventura. You can see out here we've got some great palm trees. Uh, it's nice and shaded. Across the street, the yellow gems. What I'm going to do with the bones for the people here waiting in line. Okay, Western Union. Pass this way to someone. This first case is called Ink Therapy. I chalk up the first one to a prolonged night of drinking. I chalk up the second one to having something to prove. I chalk up the third one to all the X's and one-offs who all had the nerve to scar me emotionally, mar me completely, drove me to drinking, and maybe even rethinking my philosophy to the point where I'm not only listening to physical graffiti, but I'm wearing it forever. Tattoos on my skin, but never on my soul. Nothing makes sense anymore. Nothing except the ink and the waiting chair and the sleeve doctor, who for a mere $300 can make me feel a little less like an arrested child and more alert and alive than any placating shrink ever possibly could. Well, looks like I scared everybody away. All right, poem number two. This is called Pool on the Roof. Plastic swimming pool, plastic flamingos perched, Plastic palm tree swing, enabling everyday people to fantasize for an afternoon about exotic beaches, endless horizons, boundless energy, oldies radio stations, cool soft drinks waiting, gooey suntan lotion, and that last perfect weekend before the rent got so hyped up beyond affordability and we got much, much older waiting for the summer to help us bloom again. Thank you, and for my last piece, this is called Psycho Killer Cafe. Everyone in LA used to be a killer. Killers of so-called good taste. Killers of morals and values. Killers of healthy attitudes. Killers of what's expected. But psych psycho killers thrive on chaos. They're only at ease when the world is going to hell right before their eyes. Where did all the killers congregate? And the Psycho Killer Cafe, of course, Every single day and every night, killers would sip their fresh coffee, plot world domination, or maybe just upend the cigarette machine. They were quite content to smolder, that is, until the recent recession hit, and the owners just had to switch to the most generic brand of Java. The killers all simultaneously revolted, but they were soon broke and had to settle down fast and get easy jobs. They are now all forced to work at the corporate coffee shops nationwide, and they're extremely pissy about it. But they haven't killed anyone over it. Not yet. But they're still psycho. Now I want you to meet the man that made this all possible today. Hello, sir. What was, what's your name? Oscar. Oscar? Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.